Yeah, yeah lights can be useful. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, I'd like to share, share with you a slightly strange experience I had when I tried to order some spaghetti a couple of weeks ago. Because, first of all, they only brought me three strands of spaghetti, which was a bit weird. But what really riled me was that they were all different lengths. There was a... a, a sort of mid middling-ish sort of length one there. Then there was a ridiculously long piece of spaghetti like that. And then a tiny short one that wasn't really worth having. So um, I called the waiter over and said, well, what, what do you call this? These are, when I order my spaghetti, I like them all to be precisely the same length. And he said, Mamma mia, you do not want this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, the, the restaurant was staffed purely by uh, grossly offensive national stereotypes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but... Um, he, he said, no, you don't want this one, the variety. And I said, no, 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 I want my spaghetti precisely the same length, please. I'd like you to fix it. So he said, OK, we see, we see what I can do, sir. So he started <laughs> picking up my spaghetti in his hands for some reason, and then... What happened next was slightly weird, it's slightly difficult to explain, but, but it sort of looked as if the, the bits of spaghetti were actually slightly stretching in his hands. And after a little bit of tugging on it, he suddenly had three pieces of spaghetti. Oh, yeah. 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 So three pieces, all the same length. So I had a try, and it was the most boring spaghetti I had ever tasted. It was bland, just endless, stodgy boringness. So I called him back over and said, Oi, Luigi, sort it out. <laughs> What's wrong with my spaghetti? He said, I tried to tell you, sir. You need the variety. You need the mixture, the long, the medium. The... And um, I said, OK, fine. I want you to fix it for me then, please. <laughs> so he said, fine. See what we can do. OK, we we'll have this one. This can be your medium one. We'll keep that. And the others, I don't know, maybe we uh, tie a knot in there. Maybe that would... Uh, sort of make a, a long piece like that, would that work? And I said, no, it's rubbish, it's just very obviously two pieces of spaghetti tied together with a, a massive knot. So, um, I, have, I have an idea. What we need, we need some parmigiano. Yes, we do. We need to sprinkle parmigiano, which I keep in my pockets. I need parmigiano, like this, and then blow on it. And then we have just a long piece. And now you have your, your medium piece, and you good that. And I said, no. Oh, no. You've got me along on a medium piece, but where's my short piece? And he said, ah, you want the short piece? You must have the patience. You must wait until the 13th of July. You must go to Lincolnshire. <laughs> <laughs> Maria Eliotta. Her friends, her friends have the psychic powers, and they will find you your short piece of spaghetti. So, basically that's why I'm here. Um, I'm wondering if you can help me to find. I've got some apparatus back here that may... Enable me. Just a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> nice bump. There we go. Now, this is a grid, as you can see, of letters. And I'd like you to, I'm going to ask you to move around the grid in your brains, inside your brains. Um, you can move up and down. <laughs> <laughs> you can move from side to side, but you can never move diagonally. You can go back to a square you've been to, that's why. So to, to demonstrate how it works, if you spell out the letters of the word Mary Fest here, you'd be going down, across, up. That's all legal moves, but never move diagonally. Now I'd like you to start here. And in all in your brains, I want you to take one move now. Okay, so if you're doing it right, you should be either here or here. Remember where you are. Now every time I say a number, I want you to take a single move. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now if you can all remember exactly which letter you're pointing, you're looking at at the moment. Mm -hmm. If Luigi is right, then you may have found where my spaghetti is hiding. I'd like you all to shout out which letter you're on when I go like this. Okay, you ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, Luigi was wrong. <laughs> yeah, we had pretty much everything there. We had an M, an A, and an R, and we didn't have a Y. Nobody I, said. I why. Well, you got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid you're out, Hannah. <clears throat> so I think what we're doing is we're slightly sort of narrowing in on where this is hidden. So if you can all remember which letter you had, which one you shout out, you're still there. I'd like you to move on again. So every time I say a number from now, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you can all see which one you're on now. Like to shout it out. A. A.
F. Nobody said F. <laughs> yep, F can go. Okay, stay where you are. We're going to go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you got which one you're on? Uh, oh, two. Okay, E. Nobody said E. Definitely that time. Right then. Okay, do it one more time. One, two, three. Okay. A. A. Okay, no one said either R or S that time. I said so, S. I said S. Did you? I stopped playing. <laughs> okay. Which is my team. Are most of you doing this so that you're still on one of these letters yes. that are left? Good. Okay, then. I'd like you to make one final move. Now, if Luigi was right this time, you are actually finally at the place where my hidden rope is hidden. So, can you all say as one which letter you're on now? M! So basically, you all said M just then. <laughs> <laughs> what were the chances? So all of these, you didn't say any of the ones that I put on. None of you said T, none of you said A, a whole lot of you just said M, and who'd have thought it? <laughs>